Hi everyone, I am Sandy with Sandy's Vintage Home Decor. Um, I This is a continuation part two of our frame that we were working on with the IOD roses. And I've got them, the second coat on them like I had said. Also have the candlesticks we were working on that we will work on. And if you guys had watched the other one, you've seen how much problems I was having with the ribbon. I did get it off. So, well, let's start with this so we can get it, the glue on it, get to dry and everything. Right now, I, what I want to do is work on the frame. Um, I would like to wet distress it, and what I use are baby wipes. You can get these at Walmart. I get the big bag just because it's um, more cost effective with it. And um, even though my... Uh, my uh, Farm Fresh paint, DIY paint, is uh, dry. We can act, uh, activate it again um, so that we can wet distress it. And so what I'm going to do is just take this baby wipe. I'm just going to gently wipe along it, the edges, just where there are, like where your wear would be, um, if you had a picture or something and it got bumped or you would, you know, just the normal wear and tear. Um, I'm not going to do it a lot because I am going to also use um, shipwreck on this frame. On the, I will show you in just a minute um, what we're going to do and with the shipwreck. And it doesn't take much just to, to activate that, so you need to be really careful on how much you take off. If you do take it too much off and you're not happy with it, you can just repaint it and DIY it. Paint is very forgiving where it will just cover it and then you can wet distress again um, what you want to wet distress. And that is about what, it was a gold frame, if you remember, it was a gold frame under. I don't want a whole lot of this gold coming through. I just don't want it to take the place, something just fell. Um, I don't want to take the place of this shipwreck, but I just kind of want a little wear and tear on it. So I am going to take, just, you just need to do a little bit, and you just start, let me get the roses and stuff off. I just had them kind of laid out to see how I wanted to place them. You want to do that before you actually use the glue on it. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to take the shipwreck and this is the shipwreck finishing wax. Um, it You can either apply it with your finger which it gives you a little bit more control than a brush. Or you can also apply it with a brush. Um, either way is fine. And I'm just going to take it and it's just going to have that little pop of color. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm also taking off some of that paint underneath it, which the, um, that'll kind of show the wear and tear of it. And so I am just going to go around this frame with the shipwreck. And you can get this, uh, the Shipwreck Wax at Jamie Ray Vintage. That's where I get mine at. Um, I am not able to sell it right now because I don't have a, a, a place to sell it at at this time. Eventually, I plan on selling it when I am able to get a shop. You do have to have a place, um, a physical place to sell the DIY paint. So, but you can always look up on the locator if, if there is, if you go into the DIY, um, any, any place on it, you can find a locator in your area to see if anyone sells it in that area so that you're able just to go pick it up instead of having to wait on it. And unfortunately, nobody does in my area. So I just applied some of this shipwreck on it. I don't want it really, really, um coming through great big uh, just to have a subtle type of well I'm going to use that again and then what I got is this copper patina pennies from heaven and that uh, is also sold it's a DIY 
paint and it is also sold on the website and what I want to do here I want to have some control you've got quite a bit on the lid so what I'm just going to do is take once again on my finger and I'm just going to lightly brush it and it makes a coppery um, come through just to, to highlight. Uh, you, you, they've also got a uh, golden ticket. Uh, basically it's the same thing except it's, uh, it's gold. And these really are nice to just kind of give an extra touch to your um, work, your items, your pick, uh, whatever piece you're doing. You, a lot of people do their uh, dressers and put it on the handles and it looks really nice. Uh, they also do it like if it, the piece has got some uh, type of de decor, decoration um, that is like this, then they also take this and use that to enhance and kind of show, draw attention to those areas. Um, and it doesn't take that long. I just, you know, I'm just running around and this is what it looks like when I've got that done. Now, for the actual picture, we've got the roses, and what I want to do is also, and let me tell you that DIY paint has no VOCs, it is non-toxic, it's made, it's a clay base and chalk base DIY paint, it's got uh, nine ingredients, and that it's not toxic, you can use it in the house, you can use it around your children, you can use it with people that have asthma really do um, they they love it because it does not cause them to have um, their asthma to act up from the paint and I will come here baby I will prove this this is my child that I have I raised I'll tell I will tell you I raised her from birth I am her her surrogate mother I saved her um, and I paint around her all the time. She is a cockapoo, and she's she's shy, but um, she is our sweet baby. She is 11 years old, and she just acts like she is part of the family. She's the most important part of this family. So I will, um, now what I want to do is show you what I'm going to do. These, the roses have the outlines and the protrusions. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am going to take the shipwreck and I'm just going to lightly um, take this shipwreck and put it on those protrusions and highlight this like that. And then what I'm going to do is take my copper patina and just lightly just kind of give the just gracing over that very lightly. You don't want a whole lot because you don't want to take away from everything. You just want to add to it. And this is how the... And I'm just going on, basically, kind of hit and miss the highlights. Uh, you, you can do as much or as little, and that is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start placing my roses on top of the um, getting ready for the... If you do get too much, you can always just rub it back a little bit. And... Then, I'm just adding my copper patina, and I have painted the leaves and the um, stems in 
aviary and so I can put these on here just like that take this and just wipe it back with I if I get too much I just kind of wipe it back and um, okay so oh here's one more how could we forget one more and I just do this it doesn't take that much time just just all you have to do is just kindly and, and a little bit goes such a long way and this is just what got that one so next we will I do have a couple of buds that I've already done and this is one that has not bloomed yet so what I'm going to do is I did take our dried uh, stems and I just kind of placed them where I thought now I'll tell you these dry just the way they were and they hump and they bend and everything which is natural for roses, so I was really happy with that. So what I'm going to do is take my roses and I'm going to put them with, just lay them on my where I want them, and just so we can... Okay, I have this one here, and then I've got still one, and I was going to show you what I wanted, what I wanted to show you on here is that you can just take and cut that, and it perfectly goes um, through there, and I am just going to let it and put this up on here I'm gonna add my leaves now after we are done I'm not gonna glue this on now I'm just gonna show you just to kind of save time with it um, I will glue it all on and probably I'll have to make some more leaves because I don't want it to look bare or anything um, but what I want to do is Take this and you'll see because I've only got a few I only made a few just because I wanted to quickly show you what this will look like once everything is glued I always make sure because I do not want to knock these over and make a huge mess on it so I am going to show you now before I glue it, what it will look like. I'll put some more um, leaves around it. Uh, there's different size leaves, so I, what I'll do is put some leaves here, and um, that'll be it. So this is the roses and the frame is Farm Fresh with, by DIY Paint. And so next, we are going to move to our candlesticks that we painted last week. Um, what I want to do is show you, I've got the DIY paint um, here. I've got the white wax. This is um, apothecary. And what I want to do is just add some white wax to it. This just gives it some depth and some color, just basically. And I want to just rub that back a little bit. I don't want it to completely come off, but I don't also want it all clustered in one place. So what I do, if I just get too much, I'll rub it, rub it off, and then I can have that control that you would need for the, the white wax. And what I do is just kind of take it and white wax all around here and then what I'll do if once it's on the top up here completely I am just going to dab 
just to get off any kinds of like big places that uh, it kind of went into one spot uh, any kind of like where the where that would be and I'm going to do the little stick of this this is such a unique design and when I seen it see if you can see that what I just did if you see the gun here the white wax it's all in one bunch I don't you don't want that you want to try to get that thinned out a little bit um, this white wax is like butter you just kind of put it in there and it will spread but you just have to be very careful not to get it into the clumps and make sure you've spread it out if you did get it too thick in places just blot uh, with a lint free rag and that will come off now I'm just going to barely blot this just a place here I'm just going to barely blot this just to make sure I don't have any kind of um, the then I, now I'm not gonna actually I'm not gonna buff this I'm just gonna leave this white wax uh, you don't have to add anything after the white wax the white wax is uh, a top coat so you don't have to uh, you can buff it out if you want you can buff it as much as you want white wax uh, any kind of wax it'll be shiny and the, the more you buff it, it will shine. I don't want this really buffed a whole lot just because of the type of thing I want it to do. I'm just going to blot there because I did have a little bit into some places that I didn't want so much at. And you can just add, if you take off too many, just add it back. And this is what my candlestick looks like with the white wax on it so I'm not going to do this other one just because I want to get a with these candlesticks that we've had such a problem with I am going to use mermaid or um, mermaid tail no this is petal pusher maybe um, I don't have a lot of strength in my hands so, I don't think I'm going to get this off. There it is. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is quickly put this on. And you can get it on as thick as you want. Or as, you know, you can put a couple of coats on it. I am not going to put a couple of coats. I'm putting one pretty good thick coat on here just because I want to use the mermaid tail with this. Um, then I want to white wax it. And you can use the white wax and the mermaid tail. What I want to do, that was my dog, the other one. That was, we do have a rescued dog. She is Dalmatian and a lab. So she is down here at my feet. And she looks like a Dalmatian and has the um, energy of a Labrador. It's crazy. She pesters our little one to death. It's like a, a baby sister with her older sister and just pesters. And Miracle gets so mad at her. Um, I want to tell it just because, you know, this is my third video that I've made. Well, actually, this is my fourth one. What I want to do right now is tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I do have four kids. I have three boys and I have a girl. And I raised them as a single parent. And I'm okay with that. I'm not looking for any kind of pity or any kind of anything because... Um, it was something we had to do, and that was fine with us. And we just we got by, and not my children turned out to be really good kids. Um, so anyway, I have also eleven grandchildren. Uh, I have twins. I had twins at twenty, 
So I was kind of young and dumb, but I didn't really know how to take care of babies. I didn't know I could take care of two, let alone one. And, or I couldn't take care of one. I didn't know I could take care of one, let alone two. But anyway, I did, and we got by. And 21 months later, I had my son, another son. They are boys, Joshua and Caleb. 21 months later, I had my other son. He is Matthew. And 28 months later, I had my daughter. And so they were pretty close in growing up. We were very close growing up. When they were growing up, we were extremely close. Now, my uh, Caleb lives in Georgia. Um, he is a diesel mechanic, and he found a really good job there. But I have his twin, Josh, is an electrician, and my other son is in law enforcement in Texas. And my daughter is a stay-at-home mom of two boys. I have um, Caleb had a, has a boy and a girl, and Joshua has uh, two natural girls. And we have a, he has a stepdaughter, but we do, we have accepted her. She has been in our family since she was about two. And so she is now 13 and she has just grown to be a beautiful lady. And I am so proud of her. And um, so she was my first granddaughter. And then Caleb had my first grandson. And then um, Matthew has um, two girls and they... Are expecting a boy and now we have um, my daughter has two boys so I didn't think about it but I have got to let those dry before I can do anything so what I'll do real fast since we were at it is put the white wax on and you can see I'm just taking it and just I get some on my brush and then what I can do is just spread it around so uh, anyway uh, I do I am married now and my husband's name is Greg and we have we are raising our two dogs and it's as bad as children let me tell you this one her name is polka dot because we um, couldn't think of a name for her because we thought of like Snow Angel and we snow, Snowflake, but she was none of that, let me tell you. She, she's rowdy. She's on the go all the time. Um, if we move, she moves. Um, she's a really sweet dog. And so, um, like I said, she was rescued. And um, so now that's all we're raising is, and that's probably... It's like raising a, an older uh, child that's like 18, and then you have your 11, 12-year-old that comes up that's all uh, teenagery and pesters the older sister, and it's really quite hilarious, but Miracle does not think it's funny at all. Okay, so I've got my white wax on. I did get some in there, and I can't get my brush out. So what I'm going to do is take my rag and just kind of go in there with it to pull that wax out. And that way, and I'm just going to blot, blot, blot so that I can see what I, if I need to add any or if I, where I need to take away from. There was a little bit caked on there and not enough there. So it's so easy to do. And, you know, I got into this. I love doing this. I do so many crafts. And um, also, if you do, you did see the one, my very first one, that Zeb and Jamie are putting up for us for the business collab, then you will see that I started a purse. I have yet to finish it. I will do another video on that. Um, it's just that some other things have come up. And I have not had the time to finish that because it takes a little bit more time than it does just to paint candlesticks or frames. So I thought yeah, real fast, I'm just going to put a few videos up. And so just watch for that to come through. 
please think about subscribing to my channel. Um, I am new and I do need all the subscribers and followers I can get. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because um, I just really need that. Um, so our paint here is not dry. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'll just take it up again. I'm going to do some other stuff, so I'm going to take it up again and I'll show you the finished results. I'm going to do a lot of uh, smalls tomorrow and I will show you those in results. Anyway, this is Sandy from Sandy's Vintage Home Decor. I'm on Facebook at Sandy's Vintage Home Decor as well. Um, I list all my stuff on there as well as the website will be coming soon. It is in the progress. All right, you guys take care and have a good evening. It's evening here anyway, probably day when you see it, but have a good night.